Congress is back at work tackling the federal budget, which includes a move to defund Planned Parenthood. In fact, in just two weeks, the Pope addresses a joint meeting of Congress for the first time in history. But today's debate centered around the Iran deal. Jason Calvey reports from the Capitol tonight. Brian, Senate Democrats now have the 41 votes they need to stop a vote disapproving of the Iranian deal. But these supporters of the deal stop short of claiming victory today as they return after a five-week recess. The question remains, will the 41 senators who support the agreement support a filibuster blocking a final vote? The Senate Majority Leader urges against a filibuster. I call on every senator to resist attempts to obstruct a final vote and deny the American people in Congress the say they deserve on this extremely important matter. This agreement will stand. America will uphold its commitment and will seize this opportunity to stop Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. Also on the fall agenda is the budget, which includes funding for Planned Parenthood. There is a move to defund it after a series of undercover videos allege the group harvests baby organs for profit. Senator Mitch McConnell says those who want to strip Planned Parenthood of federal funds will have to wait until a pro-life president is elected. Senator Ted Cruz of Texas supports passing a budget without the funding, even if it results in a government shutdown. In the House, Representative Diane Black of Tennessee has introduced a bill that would defund Planned Parenthood for one year. I think that's where the confusion gets put on the, the whole uh, conversation is thinking, well, if you close down the government, somehow that automatically defunds Planned Parenthood. It does not. We need to take other actions to make sure that we defund Planned Parenthood. Representative Black has a meeting tonight with Speaker Boehner to talk about her bill. It would stop funding for Planned Parenthood for one year to give Congress the time they need to investigate these videos. Meanwhile, the first congressional hearing on these videos is tomorrow, Brian. Jason, is the House expected to vote on that bill? Well, Representative Black says that the House Majority Leader has told her the House will be voting on her bill sometime this fall. Jason Calvi on Capitol Hill. Thanks, Jason.